guys, welcome again to another Physics Live. Hey, it's Wednesday afternoon, it funnily enough just keeps on coming around. And uh, this time, we are doing a Coloured Shadows experiment where if you've got some stuff hanging around at your place, you can join on in. Now, admittedly, the stuff I've got is a little bit different. If I go down over here, I went and got myself red light, green light, blue light, spotlights. And if you don't have that stuff, you might need to do this with, well, to be honest, cellophane. So if you have hanging around, and not all of us are gonna have that hanging around, let's be honest, but if you do, get uh, a red square of cellophane, a blue square of cellophane, and a green square of cellophane, and wrap it around a torch. If you've got rubber bands or some tape, just anything to put around a torch, or if you're overseas, a flashlight. Uh, and uh, so you've got you know, a red, green, and blue <laughs> flashlight. And by the way, if you're wondering what I'm going on about, I will go quickly to my desktop and show you the experiment. So actually, um, our, our mate Duncan will actually put that link in the notes. And if we go look on down the bottom there, what I mean by the flashlights is as the picture says. So get three flashlights, put some um, uh, cellophane <laughs> around the torches, and make sure that you can sort of emulate what I'm going to do with the spotlights in this experiment. So if you're just watching on, no problem, I'll do the experiment. And uh, of course, if you happen to have made these prior, good on you. <laughs> Good on you. We're going to have to do this experiment and get live and going with it. So, first up, we are going to be using these spotlights. Now, just with these spotlights, I'm going to have to turn the thing, turn my lights off. Otherwise, this ain't going to work so well. So, it's nice and dark. I'm going to make sure things are working. We'll turn one on. Whoa, that's red. Great. Red works. Oh, that's some serious green. It's interesting how the green often comes up as almost a whitish sort of a color. It hasn't got that much green in it, but it's enough to do my experiment for now. And we're going to do the other one. I think, to be honest, I'm just messing around with the colours just because we can. And the blue often seems like a light blue. Um, and it's really hard to actually get a blue colour uh, with, with these little spotlights. But it will do our job. Now, what are we going to do? If I go to a different view, I've got my whiteboard here. So I'm going to walk on over this way or slide on this way. Uh, going to do some simple colours and looking at shadows. Now, clearly a shadow is a lack of light. If I put my hand there we get a lack of light behind my hand and we get a dark patch and that's what a shadow is. The point of this experiment is to do a coloured shadow. So we're going to mess with lights. So, right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to slightly out of view a little bit and I'm going to hold up our magnifying glass. I put my magnifying glass in front of it, I get a sort of vague, blurry sort of a view of our spotlight and I can kind of focus, we're going to get a little bit of an image there of the actual light. Lovely. And we're going to start messing with as we mix all these colours together. So, if I get out of the way, because I actually want to be out of the way for this, I'm going to turn on, oh, a little bit blurry. I'm going to try and make it wake up. There you go. I'll put my hand in front of it. There we go. Mm, there we go. Okay. Let's get our green. Notice green and blue. Oh, there's our colours that sort themselves out. Green and blue, when they come together, will make cyan. That's what they do. Green and blue makes cyan. Now, if we turn off our green and we put on our red, we get a pinky purpley looking colour. And that pinky purpley, purpley looking colour is called magenta. Red and blue makes magenta. Or pinkly purpley colour, if you feel that's your name. But magenta it is. And the difficult one to sort of guess is if I turn off our blue and turn on our green we get a yellowy sort of a color now i do know in this uh session that it's a little hard to see that it actually has turned yellow but if i put my red and green together they will focus and form yellow inside now here's the deal if you mix all the colors of light together you pretty much get white admittedly there is a little bit of shadowing a little bit of reflections of those lights on my whiteboard because remember i've got some really bright spotlights here, which makes it kind of hard to see in some ways. I mean, they're going to bounce off that white light. But let's create the color shadows that we promised. So if I put my hand in front of it, there we go, bang, done. Straight away, instantly. As I move my hand towards the whiteboard, I start to block more light. And so as you block more light, it gets darker and darker and darker until we get closer and closer to black. Put my hand away again, we start getting the colors. If I put my fingers like this and start mixing it a little bit like this, we get all kinds of cool little colours. We get the secondary colours and tertiary colours, quaternary colours and so on. 
Now the thing is, what's going on? So the way that we're going to have a look at this is if we get a stick, in this case, it's actually part of a bubble wand we use for science parties, but that's what it is. If I put my stick up here, notice that we've got yellow, magenta, and cyan. And I guess the question is, what's going on? Like, why on earth is this actually happening? Well, it turns out it comes down to what are you blocking and what are you letting get past? So if you think about it, remember if I go back to this view over here, we have lights in order. We have our red, we have our green, we have our blue over here. And that means the light is coming from here, coming from here, coming from here at different angles. Now, if we go back over to here again, those lights, the blue is coming from the side of the whiteboard, the green is coming from this, uh, the middle of the whiteboard, <laughs> and the red's coming from this side of the whiteboard. It's kind of hard to show you in a 2D space. But if I get my stick here, remember, blue's on that side, red's on this side, green's in the center. So think about it. If we've got the blue coming from this way, it's going to hit the stick. It can't get through the stick, which leads the green and the red to get past. Green plus red, when it comes to light, makes yellow. All right, so if you think the other way, if the red hits here, it can't go through the pipe, leaving our green and our blue to get past, and we get cyan. And you can kind of guess what's going to happen in the center, right? So it goes through here, the green one hits the center, leaving our red and our blue to get past, and we get magenta. And so we get the color shadows. Now, when I'm messing around with my hands, I'm just simply just doing that in many, many ways, and it works a treat. So... That particular experiment is a good and fun one. I might actually even, oh, we'll leave our lights off, it's fine, you can see me. Uh, it's a fun, simple experiment you can be doing in your class. And just out of interest, I'm wondering if anyone uh, who joined us uh, has done this experiment and see how you went. Admittedly, you do need sometimes a fairly bright light in a dark room, but those cellophane torches, those cellophane flashlights will work. You just kind of need to do it in the smallest spot. Uh, anyway. That was yet another Physics Live on a Wednesday afternoon at 4.30. As always, we'll be doing more and more of these. And again, if you're wondering where that experiment is, just go on our website. It just says, at the top, you just type in, uh, what have we got here? Colored shadows. If you typed in shadow into the search box, you'd find this experiment. And you can go on down, have a look at how to set it up, and learn again why it all works. But uh, look, that's enough from me. Have a fantastic afternoon. I'll catch you another time. All the best. See you another time.